everyone, it's me Jenny from your Health Matter channel. In my video today, I will discuss about fertility reproductive and infertility options. Our topic outline, what exactly is infertility, signs of infertility, and the real cause of infertility. Our objectives are to inform couples about alternatives to infertility treatment and to inform couples with infertility about what treatment entails, including the risks and the benefits. What exactly is infertility? The problem with either conceiving a child or with carrying out the pregnancy to its eventual fruitful end fall under the definition of infertility. Infertility is the incapability of an individual to become pregnant in case of females or the incapability to induce pregnancy in case of the males. The inability of an individual to carry out pregnancy to its full term is also dubbed infertility. What are the signs of infertility? Signs of infertility are not always evident. Most people go through life without knowing there is a problem with their reproductive system, attributing failed pregnancies to providence. In fact, miscarriages are the most common indicator of infertility. Signs of infertility in women In women, the signs of infertility are more recognized as compared to men. Endometriosis causes the lining of the uterus to grow outside the uterus. Bacterial infections Fibroids in the uterus, tumors in the cervix, are most common indicator of infertility. Ovulating before the 10th day and after the 20th day of one's monthly cycle, premenstrual spotting, menopausal symptoms, etc. are indicative of luteal phase defect and thus it turn as signs too. Irregular menstrual cycle are the most common indication in females that they might have some problems with fertility. Issues regarding body weight are often indicators of being infertile. For a woman, being too thin or anorexic will definitely hinder pregnancy since the body does not have the proper nutrition requirements or the required strength. Alternatively, obesity can also be a sign. Obesity is accompanied by hormonal imbalance which affects the reproductive system and pregnancy. What are the signs of infertility in men? Like females, in males too, it's either obesity or anorexia. It is an indication that he is infertile. Apart from this, anatomical defects may also be signs of infertility. Undescended testicles or damaged scrotum in the gonads are possible indicators too. Wearing tight undergarments, or exposing the testicles to heat may render the person unable to produce the required number of sperms or unable to produce sperms altogether resulting in infertility. Why it is important to determine the causes? Infertility may be caused due to a multitude of factors at a time or it may be the result of perhaps the deviation of a certain single factor from its premeditated path. Since misdiagnosis can often lead to further fertility complications, the very first step of treating and curing infertility depends largely on identifying the root cause right in the beginning of treatment. The broad causes of infertility in females may be listed as follows. 1. Anovulation in females, ovulatory problems are the most common causes of infertility. The failure to ovulate may be due to a number of factors like hormonal imbalance, which is the most frequent cause of anovulation. When the ovaries produce immature eggs, pregnancy becomes impossible. Women with polycystic ovaries suffer from a decreased secretion of follicle-stimulating hormone or FSH and increased secretion of luteinizing hormone or LH and testosterone. Therefore, polycystic ovarian syndrome may lead to an ovulation in women. Damage to the ovaries caused by previous surgeries, ovarian cysts, tumors, and infections may lead to production of immature eggs as well. 
Premature menopause and follicular problems are also responsible for an ovulation. Number two is improper functioning of fallopian tube. Viral and bacterial infections of the fallopian tube are the primary cause of their malfunction. Appendicitis and colitis are abdominal problems which lead to a blockage of the fallopian tube. Tubal damage may also be caused by previous surgeries which rendered the tubes incapable of passing eggs. Number 3. Use of drugs. Smoking, drinking, and using other drugs have been known to decrease the chances of getting pregnant. Number 4. Problems in the immune system. This problem include autoimmune reaction in the body and the creation of anti-sperm antibodies which exterminate sperms, natural killer cells which when present in excess can damage the embryo in the uterus. The presence of anti-sperm antibodies in the female's body kills off the sperms before they can fertilize the egg. And that's for today guys. Thank you for watching and if you are suffering from infertility, please don't hesitate to ask any question in comment section. And in my next video, which is part 2, I will discuss about the treatment option and how to get pregnant naturally. Please like, share, and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and hope to see you again in my next video.